Okay, so next we have mixed assignment eight. And you're going to be doing scratching. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so scratching is what you most commonly associate with DJing, I think. At least I usually associate it. If you hear scratching, you usually think that there's a DJ behind it somewhere, right? For your cousin's birthday? Cool. Okay, so a DJ scratching. What does it actually mean when a DJ does scratching? What are they actually doing? They're moving what? The disc. The disc? Well, we don't usually call it disc. We call it a... Turntable. Turntable, yeah. Turntable is a, one name for a record player which plays records. The record or the vinyl is what's getting scratched. Because what happened originally is the record spins around, the needle is on the record, and it goes to the grooves to make the sound. If you move it extra fast, instead of getting the, the regular sound for the music, you get a scratching sound because... It's making the music go faster, right? It's making the record go around faster, and it scratches against the needle. And so it doesn't sound like music anymore. It sounds like noise. But you can do it in a rhythmic pattern that sort of adds to the music, right? Okay. So you can do all this scratching kind of stuff on mix without having to have, to, without, without needing an actual turntable, right? Yeah. So... Let's go over to mix, and I'll show you how to do scratching real quick. Okay, so, yep, that's it. Wicka, wicka, wicka. So let me put in, let me put in triangle waves again, because we all would know that one. So here, I'm play it regular, regular. Okay. Now you can hide or show the vinyl. Okay, which is this right here. Okay, this is supposed to emulate uh, a vinyl. Like a record. So they call that, they actually call it a spinning vinyl, okay? And when the track plays, it spins around. Okay? So that's supposed to emulate what a record would do if it was a turntable, if you were using a real turntable. A lot of DJ turntables now have this thing that spins around, and there isn't a real record on it. It's like a fake record that spins around, and when you move it, it gives a scratch sound. It controls this. So, so you can get those physical controllers for the software, and you can actually hook it up to the software and do it if you want, okay? But you don't need it. You can do it right on the screen. So while it's playing, you just click and, dr click and grab the vinyl, okay? And you get a scratch down. Now, when you do that, if you only have one track playing, what does it do to the, to the music? What does it do to the music? It stops the music while you're scratching it, right? If I just click and hold it, I'm holding on to the vinyl, so I stop the record from spinning, right? So the music stops. That's what would happen on a real record. And you let it go. So, usually when you're a DJ, usually you're not going to have one track playing and just stop that track to scratch because it's going to stop the flow of the music, right? So usually... Usually, usually you're going to have a separate track just for scratching. So I'll take the triangle waves, but it doesn't really have to be that because we're just mostly doing the, tr the, the scratching sound, okay? So I'm going to take the triangle waves, fast forward to uh, a decent place. Now, now without even playing it, I can scratch. So that way it won't stop and start the music, it'll just scratch in the second deck, right? So if I go back to the first deck and hit play. Now it works better with a regular mouse. You can also use the waveform instead of the uh, vinyl. Right? Cool. So, I'm not doing a very good job right now, but you get the idea, right? No, I'm not doing a good job. So, it is a little bit easier to be more musical with it, more rhythmic, if you have the physical thing to move around, right? A little bit harder with the mouse, but you can use the waveform instead of the vinyl, okay? You can grab this, which is the waveform, okay? Or you can grab the vinyl, either one, waveform or vinyl, in either track, okay? So for your new assignment, you make a new recording with you scratching. It doesn't have to be 
You don't have to have the same track in each deck. You don't have to have the track playing. I just want to hear the scratching. All I want to hear. So don't, don't do any other effects in that recording, but scratching. But you can have a track playing if you want in the background. Make sense? Okay. That's it.